she goes. <laughs> guys welcome to my channel my name is will today we're going to talk about my moto vlogging setup because you guys always always ask about what i use to film all of my awesome reels and my moto vlogs and kind of how i go about that now real quick just to clarify i'm not going to go into the build of how i actually put all of this stuff on I do have a video available for you guys to watch and I will leave that link in a description. So if you're interested in actually seeing the, the more detailed video of how I installed everything, then go ahead and watch that video. I'll leave that in the description for you guys. So this is an Arai Corsair X Tatsuki Suzuki helmet and it is gifted from me by Elizabeth Wanders, our good friend Elizabeth. Thank you so much again. She has now purchased three of these helmets for me. That's $3,000 in case you guys aren't good at math like I am. Uh, and so I'm very, very fortunate to have a good friend uh, like her to watch over me with my stupid decisions to ride a motorcycle. If it was not for her, I would not be here right now. So thank you to Elizabeth. Hey, my baby, my Tatsuki Suzuki helmet. I am due to get a new helmet this season, but I just haven't really figured out what I want to get yet. I'm still up in the air if I want to go showy, if I want the X15, if I want to stay awry. Uh, I do kind of want to try something else, but I haven't really been able to uh, figure it out. But this helmet's just fine. It'll, it's, there's nothing wrong with this one at all. It's just something that I've been tossing around in my head so I can make videos and make content for you guys to watch. But my, my vlogging setup is basically really simple. It, I guess it looks complicated when you are looking at it, the way I have it all set up here, but it's actually really, really simple. And it's a GoPro Hero 10, and I've had this GoPro for a long amount of time. Uh, I've had this GoPro since I started moto vlogging on my Ninja 400. This is still the same GoPro. I've never changed GoPros. Now, I'll probably get another one here soon, but this one's fine. Like it, Everything works good on it. Uh, the 4K works good. I know that the 11s are pretty badass, but like honestly, this GoPro I really, really, really enjoy and it works just fine. So I don't really see any real reason to change it out just yet. I have tried a number of different methods to putting the camera on my helmet. As to like the cage, I've had the thing with the mic, I forget what it's called. I even have like this thing here. This is from Moto Rads and this holds the mic adapter in the bottom but then you just get so much bulk added to it honestly like this camera takes an absolute beating I, it doesn't need the cage like i don't really see any reason to have the cage um the thing with the mic on it is fine if you're not gonna talk in the videos so if you plan on actually talking then you need an internal mic inside of the uh, helmet right so it's not really gonna work for um, that. So you can use that external mic package. I don't remember what it's called. You can use that and then have an external mic attached to you and then sync up the audio. But just know that that's a lot of extra work that you're gonna have to do in the editing process. And some of you may be willing to do that, but honestly, like when you film yourself riding for eight hours and you go home and have to rewatch all that and like find certain points and then you add, it's, it's a lot of work, so just, just know that. And hey, if you're fine with that, good on you. Um, I just do it like this. This is how I've always done it. And uh, obviously you guys are here to watch how I do it because it works. So Hero 10, and I really keep it so simple on these GoPro, um, what are these things called? Extensions, right? I just have like literally two of them. And then this is something from Moto Rads as well. And this is the new chin mount that I've been trying out. And shout out to Kodiak Biller for putting me onto this, but I honestly can say that I like the chin mount better. The chin mount is a smaller version of this and it, it's for certain helmets, so it's shaped. The ones that GoPro give you, they won't work on most helmets, right? You'll have to end up putting the GoPro over here or up on top or somewhere. The way I have this right here is in your direct eyesight. So that's where you want it. You really don't want it any 
higher than that or lower this is kind of like the sweet spot that i found and you want the camera to be like this so if you have your camera like facing down then you're when you're riding your motorcycle and you're tilted downward you're going to be filming your gas tank the whole time so it's a sweet spot that you got to kind of find so that's why i have it on these two i always take it off this one when i have to do editing or sometimes i just leave it on the helmet honestly but yeah that's kind of the setup there and i do like this chin mount from moto rides it just goes across this whole thing so it displaces the pressure but it bounces around a little bit and i can see that on the ride and really does work well the gimbal in the camera but you know this thing it just kind of bothers me and i think i'm going to go back to the chin mount but that is something that you can get from moto rides and then again like i used to have like this and then the cage around it and your helmet ends up being like an extra five pounds after all that stuff's all on there really does start to hurt your neck after a while when you're riding around for four hours of riding on a helmet that's five pounds heavier than it's made to it it really just uh it hurts your shoulders and it's just not comfortable even this after a while does bother me so a lot of times i i always like to have my camera on like so many crazy things happen when you're on a motorcycle and i try to usually run my camera almost every time i ride my mo motorcycle and i'll just go back and delete the footage later but generally if i'm riding this thing's filming and the good reason for that is because people are absolutely insane out here and i can't tell you how many times i've captured just people just being idiots and just almost hurting me killing me honestly so you know it happens and uh, just be aware of that and that's why i kind of leave the camera on all the time so the GoPro Hero 10 is a really good camera. Like I said, I am due to get an upgrade, an upgrade helmet and all that stuff, but this is what I got for now and it does work. Now the trick for the microphone, this is what you're gonna see in the video here. I'm gonna put some clips of the actual sound, which I am astonished. My bike is ridiculously loud. We're gonna test out this new GoPro setup that I got. Same camera, I just got a new mic adapter and mic so you guys can actually hear me talk. And uh, hopefully it sounds nice and clear and the bike sounds good. Uh, this is kind of be a video of uh, my GoPro setup here. And this is how I've always done it even when I had my Ninja 4 under. And uh, I was going back to watch those videos. I actually had to go back and watch my own microphone setup because I don't, re I didn't remember how I did it. And the audio sounded so good on when I had that bike in Iowa. Uh, but yeah, I just realized that I don't have a mirror right here. I, I don't know where that went, but uh, it probably vibrated off, and I didn't even notice it. Uh, that sucks. I need that mirror. I, I don't like not having mirrors. I know some guys don't care. I don't like taking my eyes off of what's in front of me for more than like a freaking millisecond. Like, like a quick boom, boom. Like, you know. And uh, that's that's really all I like. Really feel comfortable doing. strapped up with the airbag vest and I really like this thing it's you know I, I heard somebody say something about the temperature but I honestly I don't know how hot it is honestly but it's probably right about 75 80 if you guys don't know I have a Ducati Panigale V2 with a full titanium Van Diemen exhaust the thing is absolutely absurd and it's loud and oh yeah got it up a little bit i'm not good at it yet i'm just you know feeling it out a little bit <laughs> oh this thing is this thing is so much fun The Burger Boy joint, I mean. This, this uh, 
Lazy G's burgers are phenomenal. They are so freaking good. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> this microphone really does a good job of picking up just my voice and the bike in the background. And I'm really, really happy with the way it sounds. Even on the highway when I'm ripping like 120, 130 miles an hour. through the mic so the the way i have that is the giant squid mic now i'm not going to pull this thing all out of my padding because it's a pain in the balls to get it back in there but you want to for one you want to make sure that nothing is in the way of the rescue pullers right so make sure the rescue team if god forbid there's an emergency make sure they can get to the pullers i even have one hidden in here somewhere i'll get it later but make sure that none of the wires or anything are in the way of that where they can pull it and potentially hurt you. You want to make sure that the padding's all gonna come out when they need to get your helmet off of your head if you're in an accident and your neck's swollen and your head's traumatized. You know, you guys know, I'm not gonna get into the gruesome details of that, but you just need to make sure that they can get the padding out. That's why those are there if you guys don't know. Um, so behind all that padding is all of the wiring for the giant squid mic. Now. You do have to use, I had to use at least one of these adapters that goes into the GoPro mic adapter. This has to be from GoPro. If you get a knockoff version, it won't sound good. It won't really work uh, at all. The Purple Panda, I have heard people using that. I know that Doodle on a motorcycle uses it. I honestly couldn't get the damn thing to work. Uh, so, but I think she still uses like the Hero 8 or something. So maybe it's just like the newer ones it doesn't work. I'm not really sure. But I honestly got this from Blockhead Garage. He's the one who showed me this way. And I've been using it ever since I started it. And this this GoPro mic adapter is the key that makes the, the sound. Uh, but it doesn't work with all of the mics. So the Giant Squid mic, plug that right into it with the little adapter piece here. And I have the mic. It's right you guys probably aren't going to be able to see it, but it's literally like right here. I can touch it. I'm touching it with my finger. Um, it's going to be really, really hard to see, but it's it's actually, yeah, it's going to be tough to see it. But it is, it's inside the helmet. 
and uh, I do have a wind screen on it. And you do need to put that on there or you'll just catch nothing but wind. Now, some of you guys like to ride without the chin skirt on your bike. This has two chin skirts. It has one right here. Then, and it comes out a little more if you want it to, in case you guys didn't know that the Arise do that. And then you have another one right here. If you're doing moto vlogs, you are gonna need both of those. Unless you have a really, really nice microphone with a really nice windscreen, then you might be able to get away with it. I know that it gets hot in the summertime and you need that to breathe and you want the air, but like to get good quality auto, audio through your helmet, um, I found personally that it just doesn't work without the chin straps. And then even like a step farther, like having, just having this closed sucks, but it does pay a little bit of benefits. Um, it is very, very, very difficult to do moto vlogs, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. It's really hard, especially when it's hot, you're exhausted, you're sweating, the sun's beating on you. It's, that's a really good reason why you don't see videos from Yammy Noob anymore. You don't see Monocity out here anymore in Austin, Texas. It's too hot. There's too many cars. It's too dangerous. It's exhausting. So if you want to get into moto vlog, um, understand that it is very dangerous and you are putting yourself at more risk than you already are. So make sure you're wearing the gear. Get a good helmet. Get yourself a good jacket. I have myself now the Air, uh, Tech Air 5 from Alpine Stars. That's an airbag vest. I will not ride my motorcycle without it. I won't ride my motorcycle without full gear, period. Three bad accidents last year, and um, it just ma really makes you take a step back and think about what you're doing. As somebody who makes moto vlogs and rides fast and goes between the cars and, and does all that, and I'll kind of mention some of that in the video here. Because, you know, I'm testing the mic and I also wanted to have a little bit of conversation about riding safely and kind of why we do what we do so people can kind of understand where we're coming from. Like I tell everybody all the time, you don't necessarily, I don't have to be going fast to enjoy my ride. Like I'm just chilling. But sometimes just chilling gets you in a lot of trouble because people will cut you off. They jump out in front of you. They don't use a turn signal. They ride your tire. So it's kind of... It's like, you know, sometimes being a good rider means just getting out of traffic, you know, as fast and safely as possible. Like, it, sometimes we're not doing it to be assholes, you know. I feel like a lot of people get that mixed up, especially when we're lane splitting. Like, okay, it's one thing to lane split at 160 miles an hour, you know, on a highway. But if I'm safely lane splitting at 15 miles an hour, just so I don't get rear-ended, then, you know, I don't really see why people... And that's generally when I get in trouble. Like, when pe people will, like, throw their cars at me. I've had a guy door check me. I've had people turn into me on this bike. And that's assault, in case y'all don't know. If you throw your car at a motorcycle. Should we do a wheelie, y'all? it up a little bit why nobody ever does them anymore it's because it's like so much work it takes a lot out of you a lot of energy plus you got to focus on like not dying and uh that's a job in itself right listen to the pops on this thing this this bike is ridiculous <clears throat> leave myself a little getaway in between the cars here in case maybe I should do a video on how to like properly ride a motorcycle I don't know like I feel like I'm a pretty good street rider like you know obviously people will be like you need to humble yourself and all that you you ride fast and all this stuff. sometimes it's about like what you do with the lights how you pull up to intersections you know are you constantly looking around do you give yourself an escape route are you wearing proper gear? All those things, you know, really no turn signal. <clears throat> All those things play a factor into, uh, like this, right now I'm in this guy's blind spot, uh, right next to me here. He's got that mirror sensor though, so I like those. But in any case, that's my setup for the Moto Vlog, the giant squid mic. The GoPro mic adapter, the GoPro Hero 10 on the chin mount from Motorad. 
And then on the back here, if you'll notice, this is a uh, speakers. These are speakers. And there's two speakers inside here. These are from Siphon Sound. And um, they are really, really good. I'll just turn that bad boy on. There you go. And it's connected to my Bluetooth on my phone. But sometimes I do like to listen to some tunes. Not that you can really hear them anyway with my bike. But I do like to have the music sometimes playing in the background. But what I do always use, because I don't like looking at my phone on my bike, is I use Waze or any kind of GPS app to tell me what direction I'm going. Because I still have no idea where I'm at most places here in Austin. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something and it was informative for you. If it was, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not a subscriber, consider doing that as I make videos all the time. Sometimes three times a week, I'm making new content for you guys to watch. So go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you need any motorcycle gear whatsoever, use my link in the description for Raven Moto. I have a discount code from them, Hard City, all caps. That'll get you 10% off. They have really, really good street armor gear. They have some good leather products. I love their gloves. They have awesome riding pants that look just like regular jeans. And they have armored hoodies, all kinds of stuff at Raven Moto. Use my discount code. Again, hard city, all caps. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. I love you all. Peace.